Trump might not have been aware what is uttered from his mouth, but we will make sure that he bears consequences far beyond his words, far beyond the scope of what he can handle even if he is ready to do so. Yeah, this amid more saber rattling from the U.S. We're just seeing this in the last half hour. U.S. Air Force B-1 bombers out of Guam, as well as fighter jets out of Okinawa, Japan, flying over international waters, but what is significant to the east of North Korea, that is to the north of the DMZ. It's the furthest they've flown north uh, in many years, and also I think kind of significant, it's in the same area where North Korea launched that missile test last week. So a lot of tension on both sides of the DMZ right now. Back to you, Jillian. That's Greg Palcott joining us live from Seoul. Stay safe, Greg. North Korea's foreign minister who's set to address the UN General Assembly at any moment. This is an earthquake rocks the North Korean peninsula, sparking fears that the regime may have conducted another nuclear test. South Korea has said, however, this isn't the case. Reporter Greg Palcott is live, joining us from Seoul, South Korea, with the latest on this. Good afternoon, Greg. What can you tell us is going on there? Hi, Jillian. Uh, yeah, first, we are watching for what could be a very fiery speech coming from the North Korean foreign minister. He could be speaking in the next hour or so at the U.N. General Assembly. Remember, this comes after President Trump's speech there, in which he promised to totally destroy North Korea if it threatened the U.S. and its allies. And then after Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, calling President Trump mentally deranged. Also after, as you recall, a North Korean foreign minister re saying that North Korea could detonate an H-bomb over the Pacific Ocean. And yes, this also comes after a bit of a scare today on the Korean Peninsula. Late Saturday Korean time, there were reports of an earthquake in northeastern North Korea, not far from where the regime tests its nuclear devices. 3.5 on the Richter scale, shallow. Chinese authorities said it was detonated related to an explosion. But then South Korea weighed in, the United States weighed in, and they're saying it's a natural natural quake, but they're saying it might be a geological shift related to that nuclear test that occurred there earlier this month. Meanwhile, in Pyongyang, very well orchestrated mass rally today against the United States. Uh, 100,000 uh, supposedly turned out. Uh, one of the speakers today uh, supporting the North Korean leader and his uh, calls to defend North Korea against the United States, saying, Get ready for the final decisive battle. It also comes amid new signs on Saturday that China could fall into line and start enforcing the recent U.N. sanctions. Also, North Korea's foreign minister told countries at the U.N. General Assembly that the regime is not afraid of threats from the United States. Senior Foreign Affairs Correspondent Greg Palcott is live in Seoul, South Korea, with more details on what's happening there. Good to see you, Greg. Uh, what's happening here, uh, Kelly, and also what's happening in New York. Yeah, we expected some very strong words from that North Korean foreign minister, and guess what? We got it. 
Speaking before the august body of the U.N. General Assembly, there was a direct rebuke to President Trump and his calling Kim Jong-un a rocket man. Ri Young-ho said that only made inevitable a visit by North Korean rockets to the mainland of the United States. And he went on to say that if innocent American lives are lost, then President Trump would be held totally responsible, asserting that he was the one on a suicide mission. Now, amid another orchestrated anti-U.S. rally in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea, that foreign minister made the assertion that North Korea was only steps away from the completion of a nuclear force, including H-bombs and ICBMs, and that they would not stop in the face of what he called illegal sanctions. All this comes even more saber-rattling by the United States. B-1 bombers, U.S. jet fighters flew to the east of North Korea, well, to the north of the DMZ, and, crucially, in the general area, the path of that North Korean missile launch last week. The U.S. military spokesman saying that this shows the resolve of the United States, and it shows that it has many military options. Finally, yes, there was a bit of a nuke scare on the Korean Peninsula today, late Saturday, Korean time. The reports of an earthquake in northeastern North Korea, not far from where the regime has its nuclear test site. Now, the initial report coming from China was that, in fact, it was triggered by an explosion. But South Korean officials and then U.S. officials weighed in, and they said it was naturally based. But it could be tied to geological shifts in the mountains there from that nuclear test by North Korea early this month. One final note back to that North Korean foreign minister address, the words only upping the ante in the global spat between North Korea and the United States. Kelly, it is now back to President Trump. This shouldn't be handled now, but I'm going to handle it because we have to handle it. Little rocket man, we, we're going to do it because we really have no choice. Thank you.